what volume of 10% to a per volume solution of Na2CO3 will be required to neutralize 75 ml of HCl solution containing 3 grams of HCl. Okay, so before we go into the mathematical part, we need to write first the balanced chemical reaction for the neutralization of Na2CO3 with HCl. So Na2O3, one mole of Na2O3 reacts with uh, two moles of HCl and it produces two moles of NaCl plus water plus carbon dioxide. Okay, so since we have already the balanced chemical equation, we can go into the solution. So in the problem, we are given 3 grams of HCl. So we need to neutralize 3 grams of HCl. The first thing you need to do is to convert grams of HCl into moles of HCl. So we need a conversion factor. To convert this, we will use the molar mass of HCl. Okay, so one mole of HCl. So looking at your periodic table, you solve the molar mass of HCl. Hydrogen is 1.008 and Cl is 35.45. So the molar mass of HCl is 300, uh, sorry, 36. 0.458 grams of HCl equivalent to one mole of HCl. So as you can see, the grams of HCl will cancel out and that will give you the moles of HCl. And now looking at the balance equation we wrote a while ago, it says here that for every two moles of HCl, it reacts with 1 mole of Na2CO3. Okay, so the moles of HCl cancels out, and this will give you the moles of Na2CO3. So now that you have the moles of Na2CO3, you can convert this into grams of Na2CO3. So we will be using the molar mass of Na2CO3. So there are two NAs, so 2 times the molar mass of Na is 22.99 plus carbon is 12.01 plus 3 oxygen, so that's 3 times 16. So 1 mole of Na2CO3 is equivalent to 105. 105.99 grams of Na2CO3. So the moles of Na2CO3 cancels out and now you have grams of Na2CO3. In the problem, we are given the concentration of the Na2CO3 solution, which is 10% weight per volume. So if you can recall, when you say 10% weight per volume, that's the same as saying that for every 100 ml of the solution, it contains 10 grams of the solute or 10 grams of the Na2CO3. So I repeat, 10% weight per volume means that for every 100 ml of solution, it contains 10 grams of Na2CO3. So you can put this into your solution. So 100 ml of the solution contains 10 grams of Na2CO3. And as you can see, the grams of Na2CO3 will cancel out. Now, your final unit would be ml of the solution, which the problem is asking for. It's asking for the volume. 
So now that you reach the final unit, all you have to do is compute everything in your calculator. So that's 3 times 1 divided by 36.458 times 1 divided by 2 times 105.99 divided by 1 times 100 divided by 10. And you will get approximately 43.6 ml. So the answer to this question is 43.6 ml.